It's the math guy, Steve. Let's try solving this equation. So how we solve this equation is by first isolating the radical. That's already done. So then squaring both sides. So squaring both sides here, we get x squared equals, okay, uh, negative 1 minus 2x. And now it's a quadratic, so it gets 0 on one side, factor the other side, set each factor equal to 0, okay? So that would give us x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. And now we factor the other side. Uh, it's three terms and there's a 1 in front, so double bubble x and x. And the numbers that multiply give me 1, that add to give me 2. So positive 1 and positive 1 work perfectly. So we got 0 on one side. We factor the other side. Set each factor equal to 0. So x plus 1 equals 0. And x plus 1 equals 0. So x equals negative 1. And x equals negative 1. And that would be our solution. It's a double solution. Ah! Don't forget you got to check. Right? This is a radical equation. You must check to see if we get any extraneous solutions. Okay? Let's check it. All right, so check it. We plug it back in and see if we get a true statement. Okay, so let's see. Negative 1. Is that equal to the square root of negative 1 minus 2 times negative 1? Is this true? Well, negative 1. Is that equal to the square root of negative 1 plus 2? Is this true? Okay, negative 1. Is that equal to, well, negative 1 plus 2 is 1, so the square root of 1. Now, again, this is a positive square root because there's no negative sign in front, right? So it's just a positive version. So is negative 1 equal to the square root of 1, which is 1? Is this true? It's not. So since that was our only potential solution and it doesn't work, then there is no solution to this equation, okay? Always remember, math is everywhere.